Hey guys, Foghar here from Tokyo Digital Crew. Um, I'm here to give you a tutorial on how to import audio um, from iMachine into GarageBand. Now, bear in mind, this is iMachine 2, not the old version of iMachine um, that we're going to be using to import tracks from iMachine into GarageBand. So, you know what I do, open up iMachine. Um, Chances are you've got a project already in mind that you want to export the loops from, or the whole track even. Um, I'm playing with one of the um, one of the basic tracks that you get with um, with our machine. So I'll just press play, have a quick. Yeah. That's just a. Um, one of the projects, the default projects that you get with iMachine. Now, what you're going to want to do um, on the iPad, it's over here. This um, the one's got the red dot on it now, actually, because uh, there's updates and stuff. You're going to go in there, and you're going to go to Export Audio. Now, you'll see two options. It says Current Scene or Entire Track. Now, this means i'll go back and show you when it says current scene it means these segments at the top these bars if you like um if you're wanting to export just a single instrument like say we want these drums then what you have to do is go in to the other instruments and put no pattern in scene until the only bar that's left in there is the drums Yeah. And then we can go back up into this menu, export audio, and click current scene. Now I'm not quite sure yet what the optimize for looping does, but it sounds like we're probably going to want that on if we're just exporting a loop, like the drum loop. Um, I would say WAV is the best to export. Share, so you press share, and then this is what happens. It'll render it down. And give you a couple of options now what you want to use is you can use um you can actually use the um the icloud which i've disabled on this but we want to use this one here it says audio copy it looks like a coat hanger with an arrow going up into it and you press audio copy and it'll do this now you can preview it and it'll play what you're copying Press copy audio, and it'll come up with a lot of stuff. That's just suggestions for apps that you can use audio copy with. You don't need it, um, although there is the audio copy app itself there. But uh, just press done. Right, and then we're done in here. Now, if you want to do, if you want to export an entire track from iMachine, it's the same process. Yeah. So I've got one, two, three, four, five bars here. I want to export all of them into GarageBand. So same again, menu on the side, export audio, but instead of saying current scene, we want entire track, share. Takes a bit longer because it's, an in, it's the whole thing, which is understandable. Same again, audio copy, press that. Brings up the option, copy audio, and it'll copy that to the clipboard then. So basically when you copy the audio, when you press that, it, all it does is it copy, it's like press, doing, highlighting some text and copying it. It just saves it to the clipboard. So theoretically, you know, you could go into anything that you can paste into and paste this. I don't think it would quite work though. So, press done. Now we've got the full track, which we haven't got a lot. One, two, three, four, five, five bars. Close our machine down. Open GarageBand. Now, I've already got a thing up here. I'm going to completely start from scratch in GarageBand so you can see the process that you need to do because otherwise it can go a little bit wrong. So, open GarageBand. And when you open GarageBand, chances are you're probably going to... You're probably going to go and create a, a brand new 
clean slate so plus create new song you want to be starting with this audio recorder so none of these it normally starts you over here um, scroll this way until you get to the audio recorder and then you're gonna press this one here that looks like um, a lot of like strips um, press that That'll take you to the multi-track uh, page. And literally all you need to do now is press this plus, and that says section A, eight bars. We need to change that to automatic. Then tap on here. You'll see it says paste, paste. Whoopee, entire track is there. Give it a moment to generate the audio image. Press play. Now, you can probably hear that click, the uh, metronome track, the click track, is not in time with the audio. So quite simply, you can, oh, you can make a note of this beforehand. I can see it there in the uh, thing. It says the BPM is 85. It's so good that in GarageBand, you just go to the, is it the spanner? Yeah, tempo 110. We drop that down to 85. The track adjusts automatically. There we go. Now we can do what we like with that. We could add drums in, we can add strings, whatever we want. Um, and that's basically it. Um, that's all you need to do to import audio from iMachine. Now, if you want to import loads of audio, like different stems, so that you can mix um, and affect each individual um, instrument from iMachine, or maybe even use multiple instruments, more than four from iMachine, just follow that process. Make sure you save um, in GarageBand before you come out. Um, press my songs and it will save automatically uh, song six come out uh, go to iMachine. machine oh wrong iMachine. machine get rid of that go into iMachine. machine let's change the stem that we want let's say we want this we want this one uh, but we don't want the drums so we just want So we just want that. Quick into the menu, I'm clicking too fast. Export audio, current scene, uh, maybe you can rename it, it doesn't really make a difference. Share, I'll render it down. Audio copy, copy audio, make sure you press that blue link, otherwise you're not gonna copy it. Done, come out of iMachine 2, back into GarageBand on my song. Now, you don't have to create another track. All you have to do is tap here and press paste and it should bring, yeah, there we go, straight down the bottom. That can be move wherever we want. So, for instance, There we go. Um, I hope this tutorial has proved helpful. Um, if you liked it, obviously give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel, and keep checking back for more. Thank you very much.